Hey everybody, I'm Lee with Old Sneak One and today I've just got a quick tip for you for making your life easier if you've got a horse that's very overdue like this one right here. You can tell that this foot is real long and we've already trimmed this one up for a shoe and it's quite a bit shorter if you look at the two. So if you come around, a lot of the issue is that there's just so much foot in your way and as you can tell, this whole foot's running off this way, but it's just a lot of length. So getting all this sole out is gonna really make our lives easier by seeing where things need to go. And if we're trying to knife that out, it's gonna be hard, but if you get a torch, it's got a bottle here like that. It'll make your life a lot easier. And all this does is soften the foot. You can also use it to harden the foot. You just don't knife anything out. Doesn't take much to make your life a lot easier. You can see how much easier that comes out right there. And I by no means want to take out too much sole, but taking out the appropriate amount really allows me to see where the foot needs to be. So now, as we look, it really gives us a clear vision when we cross it like that, that there's a lot going on out here. So take our handy mustad nippers here, and we can have a lot of confidence on how much we trim off because the problem that I've run into with horses that are this long is these are the ones that you normally over trim because if you don't, take out all that sole that's right here, you're just guessing. I'm a big fan of the Excel Green Tang Rass, the Legend Excel. See how smooth they get it right there? And I did not take out too much sole. I need to come back in and get a little more off there because there can't be any sole pressure. One way to know how much depth you have is to put your rasp across here. You can just see the depth right there. So now you can see the thickness of the hoof wall, the white lines only right there and there's that much, so that's all distortion. So now, it just, not as much here, but way more here. So I take off a little bit there, and that creates a bevel around the outside. And this doesn't hurt the horse at all, it just removes the distortion, so as you can tell, I'm gathering this foot back up to where it's equal proportions. Now I'll put it on a top stand. And this will make your life a lot easier when you're shoeing these horses that are this long because all this distortion that's right here, we've got a bevel that shows us exactly how much to take off. This is also a great method for the certification program. Eliminate, eliminates a lot of issues with shoe fit when you're fitting the what's really supposed to be there. So as you can tell, this bevel's getting smaller and smaller. And see where this foot was broken up? There's no bevel there. So I just lightly just clean that up, but I'm not getting into the hoof wall because we need a nice strong hoof wall. So now I'm getting close, so I'll switch to the smooth side. Still takes quite a bit off. Look how smooth that is. Just like glass. I found that there's no need for even a finish wrap when you use an Excel 
because of how smooth and nice it makes the hook roll. There we go.